Welcome back to the fence build, friends. We've spent a couple days out here without you guys not filming. Um, partially, well, the main reason was we weren't exactly <laughs> sure what the next step was going to be. We had our bottom boards done. We were ready to start constructing the chicken wire portion and do the top. But we didn't know if we wanted the chicken wire to be on the outside of the fence, the inside of the fence, kind of like a hybrid between both. Like right here, it's mm -hmm. outside the fence. Mm -hmm. But down here, it'll end up being inside the fence. So I think we spent um, a couple hours one day just going over just different ideas of how can we do this successfully so that it makes it look right with the least amount of work possible. And are you happy with how it's turning out so far? Yeah. There was plenty of times of hesitation along the way, right? I mean, where I couldn't. I was like, eh, I don't know. But once we show them the couple areas that we have done, I'm, I'm definitely happy with how it's turning out. Yeah? Yeah. I lost track and you started talking and I think I got crooked. Oh, no, you're decent still. So we, we basically almost have one entire side done. Um, another side partial. We got the chicken wire run. We're doing the chicken wire on this side. And on the fourth side, we haven't even started on yet with chicken wire. No. So mm -hmm. we're kind of catching you guys back up. We'll show you kind of um, today how, what a final section of fence is going to look like. Mm -hmm. And then also tell you a little bit about what our next steps are going to be because we brought in some soil because as you saw in the last video the ground in this area is really really uneven there's sections that are way too high we had to dig out to get the fence where we wanted it there's other sections that were that were way too low so we ended up running a second board across the bottom so we got six yards of soil that we brought in so that we can try to correct some of the grade make things look nice around the edge fill in some of the holes plant some grass out here. And then on the inside, Rachel's been working on laying cardboard on the sections that are fresh virgin garden ground. To try to cover that crab grass. How many are in each little? I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. But we're on our sixth, sixth one so far. We're gonna keep track <laughs> of how, how, many, how many staples we end up using on this project. Tell you what, if you're not homesteading yet and you're thinking about it, a staple gun and zip ties can fix anything. <laughs> yes, <laughs> especially like a nice electric one that you just pull the trigger <laughs> and when the battery's dead, you swap it out. You know those old ones and you have to like squeeze it so hard. You squeeze it so hard the front end comes off and then your staple doesn't go in all the way. Yeah. Those were frustrating. This was. I think we bought this one when we were doing one of the chicken tractors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I was like, yeah, I should have bought one of these a long time ago. Good job. Oh, sort of. <laughs> Perpendicular. There you go. All right. Might need a couple more. What's next? We're going to finish this side. Yeah, let's get the chicken wire done on this whole side. And maybe that side too, and then we'll come back through and we'll do all the top boards. Okay. Um, when we did start it up at the beginning, we were doing a little, little bit of this, a little bit of that, mm -hmm. and it seems like it's easier if we just do all the chicken wire, get all of that done, and then put all the boards and then staple everything, and then be close to being done. Yeah, I'm ready. I really wanted it done this weekend. But. Tomorrow's a beautiful day. I said, done or not, we're going to play tomorrow. So we're going to try to bust it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's what, three o'clock, four o'clock? Yeah. Well, probably four o'clock now. So you got a good four hours. Yep. Ready? Yep. No, I'm asking them oh. if they're ready. <laughs> <laughs>
So this is the part where things get a little tricky because we run the chicken wire on the outside. We cut around the posts at the bottom and then we can take this bottom section and it all gets tucked behind this bottom plate. So, and then what we'll do the next step is we'll come across and we'll put our top boards on. We'll pull this up so it's even, staple it to those top boards. And then Rachel comes along with her foot and pulls this bottom. And then we staple on the inside of this bottom plate. And it seems to work really well. They really, we pull it this way when we first attach it. And then once we get the top piece, we pull it this way and it really stretches it out nice. It gets rid of, you can probably see all this like waviness in it. Um, all that waviness will go away and it'll turn out much nicer. Still think we can finish today? No. No. Getting rained out a little bit. Yeah, we're sitting in the pig house. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like pouring, but it's threatening. I was thinking the other day, like if we, because we're on our last bale of hay for the goats, mm -hmm. if we buy some more, we just store them like right in here. Yep. And that way it frees up that side of the barn. Right. Might just have to run a tarp or something to protect it from... Sometimes we do get east wind uh, rains. Yeah. So I don't have enough cardboard to go around the garden. So I got out the lawnmower, which you guys are sitting on right now. And my plan is to continue to mow the pig paddock. Um, I had Todd do an initial cut with the big zero turn mower just to get it down a little bit so I can manage it with the push mower. And I'm gonna bag that up. And everywhere that I don't have enough cardboard, I'm just gonna put a super thick layer of grass clippings. So if you've ever mowed grass and dumped a bag of grass clippings somewhere, you know it'll pretty much kill, for a while anyway, anything that it's sitting on. So that's the plan. Um, and then we'll just put soil, uh, the topsoil on top of that. Oh, did you get the... Um there's cardboard in the in the barn. Oh no, I haven't gotten that Big yet. Big pieces. Okay. I was just telling Todd my ideas to build my flower bed around the front of it. So I'm excited to see it done. I picked up some flowers the other day for the nursery to plant in there. So I'm ready. Just need to finish. <laughs> We're close. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. We've been working on it for, what, a week? It feels like longer. <laughs> well, if you t take into account the tearing down of the original fence, it's probably a couple weeks. Yeah. But we're so over the chicken wire. <laughs> <laughs> it stuff it. just tears your fingers. Even I've been wearing gloves. Yeah. And it's still just like... That fine little wire just digs into yeah. your fingers. And mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I just want it done. Yeah. You got other things you want to get done too. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Oh, guess what I saw today? My swarm traps. Yeah. There were bees going in there. But I don't know. I don't know if it's a swarm looking for a new home. Yeah. Or if it's robbers, because I did put a frame of honey in that one, I think. Yeah. It had some honey on it, so it could just be robbers just going in and stealing free food. Yeah, it could be. But maybe while they're there, they'll check the place out and mm -hmm. Go put, tell in, their friends. put in a bid. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's that was one of the sad. things I, I still want to make up little signs to put on the front of them. For rent. <laughs> Yeah. Furnished, fully furnished apartment. <laughs> fully furnished. Yeah. First first month free. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> after the first month, you're going to go into a box. Right, right. 
We gotta get back out there and see if we can finish. We just have that one little stretch left. Hmm. No. Todd mentioned earlier how we were stapling this chicken wire. You can see how loose it is right now. This one isn't stapled. Um, so I've been pulling it and stapling it to the back side of the top rail and then pulling it down with my foot and stapling it to the bottom rail. I'll show you two sections that I've already done. Um, so here's one section a lot tighter, not as wobbly, and it's been stapled up and down nice and straight compared to this one that's all bowed and curled. So it's gonna turn out nice. Can you guys picture all the peas I'm gonna be able to grow on this thing? I'm really excited. Boing. I think this is the absolute last piece yeah. to cut. And then we've been, we've been milking and milking and milking this saw Will we have enough battery power to get all the way till the end? All I have is my little battery. So I loaned my bigger battery. So like this is the only battery we have. And this is the last cut. So I'm gonna have that back. Thank you. Let's we'll see if we can make it. Oh, come on. Aha. Yeah, it keeps just blinking like zero battery left. Whatever you're working on. I hope you're almost done. Thanks. <laughs> Are you happy with how it turned out? Yes. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> we still have plenty of work to do. What would you say, like 12,000 staples? <laughs> and not 12,000, 1,200 or something. I don't know. The entire top needs to be stapled almost all the way around and then pull the bottom and then stapled across the bottom. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of staples to go. But our stapler uses the exact same battery yes. as my saw, <laughs> which is not the one that's in my drill, so. Right, and then Todd's gonna go through and just level off all the tops of the posts. Um, oh, cut them off, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So we'll probably leave like an inch above in case I wanna put like solar light caps on there or something like that. I think that would be pretty. And then we just, grow from here. This is a great foundation for a future fence and all the opportunities that presents. Uh, pretty flower beds, more arches, more vertical growing. So I'm really excited about it. 
You did a great job. Thanks. We probably won't bring you along for the stapling portion, <laughs> but when we bring in some soil and wood chips and do like the grading and dumping wood and wood chip or dirt and wood chips inside, we'll bring you for that because that'll be a fun tractor video. Yeah, sure. Hope you guys enjoyed following along on the project. It was a big one. Sorry it took so many days to get it out to you guys, but it was a lot of work. It was. But hopefully we never have to touch this again for 20 years or so. <laughs> mm -hmm. And thank you again to you guys, every one of you who support our affiliate programs, our Amazon affiliate, Greenstock, Olay, all that stuff. You guys help pay for this, so thank you. Absolutely. Thanks guys, and we'll talk to you later. nice yeah mm -hmm. i charge that um battery tonight so when you get up in the morning at like six you can come out and start stapling <laughs>